Adios, the pace for the Orchids. Eight fine three-year-old pacing Colts. The battle for $257,115. From the inside out. Riverboat King. Western Millennium. Ain't no stopping him. Life moves on. Dream work. Alley's Western. Life's not fair. The Blue Pan Group. The gate swings around the turn, and there they go. For the adios. Often pacing life's not fair goes right out for the lead. Ain't no stopping him. Gets away second. Riverboat King up on the inside third. Fourth on the outside. Dream work. Western Millennium gets away fifth. Light moves on. Racing sixth. Alley's Western is seventh. True in the field. The Blue Pan Group as they race around the turn going to the first quarter mark. Life's not fair. And David Miller take him to the quarter mark. 27 seconds into the lane. Ain't no stopping him. And John Campbell come to the outside to take the lead. Racing third, Riverboat King. Racing fourth, Dream Work. Western Millennium is fifth. Blake moves on sixth. Alley's Western is seventh. Trending the field, the Blue Pan Group. He ended the turn and going to the halfway point. Ain't no stopping him. Has the lead. Halfway home. 54 and 4 on to the back side. Life's not fair. Racing second. Riverboat King racing third. Dream work fourth. Western Millennium fifth. Life moves on sixth. Alley's Western seventh. Treading the field, the Blue Pan Group. Go on to the three quarter mark. Ain't no stopping him with the lead. Life's not fair second. Three quarters. 123. Riverboat King comes to the outside. Western Millennium on the outside fourth. Racing fifth on the inside. Dream working. Down the stretch they come. Ain't no stopping him. Riverboat King on the outside. Inside life's not fair. Between horses dream work. Western Millennium on the outside. Coming to the wire. It's all Riverboat King. Three, five. Back in front of the stands, the winner, the Adios, the Coors, Delvin Miller, Adios, pace for the Arcades, Mark Kismodo, and Riverboat King. Three-year-old Colt McCam's card chart. Why won't you? Getting his third win in 14 this season. Seven wins in 28 lifetime. Earnings now well in excess. $600,000 lifetime. Coming home a winner in 151 and four. Final half 57. Final quarter 28 and four. Gregory Lehman, the caretaker, holds Riverboat King as Randy Edmonds, her general manager, and Quentin Patterson place the blanket of orchids on the king today. Riverboat King, that is. David Sharp, Clifford Siegel, Golden Touch Stable of New York and New Jersey, the owners, Dave Wigman, Mike Janot representing Ladbroke Racing. Randy Edmonds also in the winner circle with Gary Bayless. And the one and only Mary Lib Miller. Wife of the founder of the Adios, Delvin Miller. Up from residence in Florida this summer to make the presentation of the trophy. Also in the winner's circle, representatives of Kurz as well. Riverboat King coming home with a tremendous final panel in 28 and 4.
to get the victory. So another piece of history here at Ladbroke in the Meadows. As the Coors, Delvin Miller, Adios is contested. And the champion is Riverboat King, Steve Elliott and Mark Kismato. And let's give him a big hand. I believe that that might be Mark Kismoto's first drive ever in the Adios. Number two, Riverboat King pays $22.20, and $2.60. And Jefferson. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Mark, first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. What would you think of the race? Oh, it worked out beautiful. It worked out perfect. Surprised uh, that you were able to come down the stretch and strong. He had a lot left in the tank. Uh, you know, yeah, he felt good at three quarters there. I said I didn't have to move too late, and uh, and he was, he was strong. You were able to sit in the three hole basically the whole way around. Were you confident at that point? Like you knew you had something left? I wasn't sure exactly how strong John's cold uh, was. I saw he was getting after him at the top lane there, so I, I thought I had to shot that. What were your thoughts after the first division? Did you know you had enough force to come back and do this? Yeah, my yeah, uh, yeah, he yeah, raised he real good first seat, and uh, uh, he was strong. And uh, uh, Steve was saying he'd come back better second, and he was. He was he's a nice colt. He's real easy on himself, and uh, he's just a, a nice horse. Do you have any change in strategy in the back of your mind? Were you hoping to leave and maybe couldn't? or? No, I just wanted to get away the best I could from the rail. And, uh, you know, the top two uh, horses there, I just followed them, and that's what I wanted to do. So it worked out perfect. Mark, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Steve Elliott is with us. Steve, congratulations as the trainer. Thank you very much. You got to be, uh, have to be impressed with the, the way he raced. He's been good all year. You know, he's just a nice cold. Not a, not a, maybe not the best one, but he's, he makes himself handy enough to go with him. So it sounds like you're not surprised. Maybe impressed, but not surprised. I just thought he's the kind of horse to be good going two heats. What did you think after the first heat then? I asked Mark the same question. You thought you had enough horse. Well, he closed good. They come 27, he closed into it. So, and he wasn't tired, didn't seem tired when he got there. So we were hoping. In all honesty, now since it's all, all over, uh, before you went into the race, did you think you had a legitimate shot and you just maybe didn't want to say anything? Or was it a question mark or not? No, I thought he had a le legitimate shot all the way. I mean, Holloway's Colt's been good all year. Uh, you know, and he was really good here, but uh, my colt's been good also. When he was racing third coming down the stretch or on the final turn, what were you thinking? When he turned into the lane, I started walking this way. You knew it then? Yeah, he, was, he always closes very well. All right, that's a, nice to have that closing kick. Steve, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. But Roger, back to you.